Those of you These who are next fighters in, weigh welcome to a Dragon combined 410 pounds. We are here in the heart of the San Francisco city at Keysar Pavilion. Sold out crowd. Thousands in the blue corner, CJ Blackman. Definitely needs to keep his head up. Uh, did a great job. His opponent, Fabian Gutierrez. Fabian Gutierrez has entered the cage, making his professional debut, fighting out of AKA San Jose, California. With a professional record of zero wins and zero losses. Last fight was March 18, 2016, where he defeated Mike Thurman in the United decision. That was an amateur fight, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, these fighters weigh approximately 205 pounds each. In the blue corner, He's 33 years old and fights for the El Nino Training Center in San Francisco, California. His professional record is one and one. He is CJ, the Caribbean killer, Blackman. His opponent, fighting in his first MMA bout as a professional MMA fighter. He's also 33 years old and fights for AKA out of San Jose, Fabian Gutierrez. Your referee for this fight is Kane Vandal. Both fighters weigh the same. Similar in age, uh, Gutierrez 33, Blackman 32. Uh, Blackman says, uh, it seems he has about two inches advantage over Gutierrez, although from looking up close and close uh, in person, it looks like Gutierrez actually has the advantage as far as the height goes. Could be wrong. Yeah, you know, uh, what's a couple inches? <laughs> oh, and Blackman looking to tee off early. Oh. Gutierrez. Follows right back with a flurry of punches of his own. These guys are looking to get after it right away, Tusi. Yeah, you can tell they don't want to be in there for, for 15 minutes at all. So far, gets your Drops Drops down to the single. Uh, look, looks like he lets that single go. Blackman's got wrist control on that uh, right right wrist of uh, Gutierrez. Oh, that big left hand just barely misses from Gutierrez. And here's the thing about these uh, these light heavyweights and these heavyweights. They're so big and they hit really hard, but uh, everyone's brain is the same size. So it's a lot easier for a light heavyweight to get knocked out than, say, a flyweight, you know? Yeah. So all it's going to take is one big shot from either of these guys, and this fight's going to be over. Oh, definitely. And you can see both of them have that potential. They both have power in their hands. So uh, that could very well be the case. Nice lead left there landing by uh, Gutierrez. Nice head kick, head kick attempt uh, by Blackman. Oh, nice body kick lands. Oh, that, that was hard. It looked like it hurts. Definitely. Oh, now CJ Blackman working for that Muay Thai clinch. He's going to look to land knees to the head from this position. So far, both fighters swinging for the fences. Definitely, definitely going for a knockout uh, is both Blackman and Gutierrez. Once again, shout out to the official photographer of Dragon House. MMA Ra, NorCal's leader in mixed martial arts photography. For more information, go to www.mmaraw.org. Looks like Gutierrez has a body lock on uh, Blackman. 
Blackman's got kind of kind of a head, a head shot, a head and arm. Let's it go for now. Both fighters back to the center of the cage. Gutierrez letting his hands drop just a little bit low. He's going to want to keep his hands up. And now Blackman doing the same. See how the left hand of Blackman is dropping? You want to keep that, uh, that outside hand up at all times. Oh, oh nice counter. Big right hand by Blackman. Oh, very well timed. Gutierrez is down. Uh, can we, uh, yeah, you cannot kick a down opponent like that. Gutierrez is that down. He is out cold. Ladies and gentlemen, can we? Uh, I'd like to take another look at that. If we can replay that and uh, slow it down, I don't know the angle that our camera crew got. If we could take another look at that, John. Uh, John, if you could uh, replay that, slow it down just a little bit. Gutierrez is still down. Ringside doctors have entered the cage. Let's hope now he's all right. Thing. From where we were sitting, we could see that that was a, uh, we, we had a perfect viewing angle of the whole situation. But I'm not exactly sure the angle that the referee saw. So uh, I'm not sure if the referee knows that it's, uh, that that was an illegal kick to the head. But you cannot kick the head of a down opponent like that. And with that being said, I don't think it was intentional. I don't, honestly, I don't believe that, uh, that CJ Blackman had any intention to uh, kick the head of his opponent like that because uh, Gutierrez was kind of already down and it was sort of like a knee jerk reaction. So with that being said, I don't think it was an intentional kick to the head. But with that being said, it's still illegal. Yeah, a, so, lot of uh, concern, a lot of concerned faces in the crowd. Gutierrez still has not moved. He's still down. We now have two doctors. As ironic as this may sound, no one wants to see anyone get, get hurt yeah, at yeah, these yeah. fights. I know you're thinking, wait a minute, these are fights. Everyone's going to get hurt. But yeah, safety first. Yeah, we definitely don't want to see this type of injury. You know. Okay, I see some hand movement from Gutierrez. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're seeing that hand kind of move a little bit of Gutierrez. Now, that was an illegal kick, but it did end the fight, so if it was unintentional, I think the fight will be ruled a no contest. Yeah, I think so, too. Gutierrez being parted off by uh, the medical staff. Standing ovation from the crowd. But of course it did look unintentional. You know, I don't think uh, Blackman meant to do it, but rules are rules, you know, things happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after at three minutes and 17 seconds into round number one, we have a disqualification loss for an illegal kick to the head of a downed opponent. So the winner is Fabian Gutierrez, who was just wheeled to the hospital. Big round of applause for these two fighters. That was an excellent fight. And there you have it. And we wish Fabian the best. DQ disqualification now, for CJ Blackman. You may have noticed the paramedics are taking Fabian to the nearest hospital, and we are required by state law to wait for another ambulance.